what is the relationship between Deacon Blue and Liverpool? Because I'm sitting here about you tell me. <laughs> I'm about I'm sitting here about 500 yards away from the Echo Arena as it used to be the M&S Bank Arena, and whenever you guys are in town. The place just goes nuts, and and you can't walk know. past a pub without hearing dignity or real gone kid. It's just always I'll fascinating. You, uh, well, I don't really understand it, but I because when we came back, we did a tour in two that we'd split up in '94. We came back in 2001, and we played the in uh, the no the what's not the Empire, what's the other one there? Royal Liverpool, Court, the Royal Court, and it wasn't sold out. I mean, it wasn't you know. But I remember, I remember now it wasn't sold out. And then a few years later, I basically, in the 2000s, did a lot of songwriting, co-writing, you know, for other people. And I was doing a solo tour and I was in Liverpool and my publisher, my music publisher was from America. She she, she lived in, she was working out of the UK, Warner, Warner's office, but she she was American. So she didn't grow up in the time of Deacon Blue being in the charts and stuff. And she took me out for a drink. She was actually up to talk about renewing my publishing contract. And it was a bit touch and go. <laughs> and uh, we were walking back from the pub to the gig um, and as we're pumped past in the pub, I said, oh, that's, that's they're playing one of my songs. <laughs> she said, what? I said, no, there's a pub band and they're, they're playing one of my songs. She looked at me like, what the hell? You know, it's like, I said, I know, I don't know. And, you know, but, and then I realized that something obviously goes on in Liverpool that we hadn't factored on. And I'm not sure, uh, I'm not sure what it was, it, what started it. There was a, ma- there was one amazing night that we happened to be in the Royal Court in 1989, about a month after Hillsborough. And we got a lot of letters from people saying they'd lost people or they were at Hillsborough or someone was meant to be coming to the gig who couldn't be there because they'd gone and died at Hillsborough. And you had to kind of talk about that in the gig. And the gig became a kind of, you know, that, you know, that way and only in Liverpool this can happen is it's it sort of the audience becomes the stars really of the show. 